Okay, so here we are. I'm out on an errand, actually taking some rolls to a party that my son was going to go to, but he was sick, so I'm taking the rolls anyway on my own on the bike. So I'm off to uh, one of the other across Dad's house to drop those off, and then on this really fun road near the house, it's um, twisty and windy and hilly, and it's a lot of fun taking this with my sports car and being new to the motorcycle, you know, I'm just getting used to the motorcycle and getting used to these turns, getting used to the hills, there's blind corners, like one coming up here on the left. Usually I downshift in the car, um, fourth to third, so here I'm downshifting to make this turn. It's a little bit blind, but, you know, not, not too scary because it's, uh, you know, one, one lane each way, so... Up through this beautiful road, you can see the, it's just a nice road with trees, houses, and just a beautiful night. Um, I'm looking down and check my gearing or check my feet. I'm still getting used to my, getting used to the bike, getting used to my feet, getting used to, you know, the motorcycle. And, you know, I'm really just enjoying it out here. Coming up is another little S curve, you know, this little to the left, and then here we go to the right, and coming up on a stop sign. And I'll stop this first part of the clip here on this uh, fun road. There's another couple interesting roads on the way to my friend's house, but I go in, and drop off the rolls, and then I'll hop on the bike on the way back. Unfortunately, I spent quite a bit of time chatting with my friend, <laughs> and while I was while I was talking to him, I could see the light. Um, you could see that I was losing light by the minute. So I had to get out of there. And the other thing is I showed him my camera setup, and while I did that, I must have made an adjustment and pointed the video a little too low. So I'm not real happy with the way it's pointed low, but this is one of the fun times I'm out on a gravel road at night. So I wouldn't normally do this, so I'm not sure when's the next time I'm going to be out on a gravel road at night. So I thought, hey, why don't I keep this video and I don't want to throw it all away. And uh, this is a one mile road roughly near my house. And I'll take this pretty fast on my gravel bike, you know, bicycling. And I'm um, really used to this road, all the turns, all the hills, the different uh, blind spots, loose gravel, and that sort of a thing, little potholes everywhere. So I'm taking this pretty quick, but again, I'm... I'm very, very familiar with this road, so as we come up, uh, there's a pretty slow left turn coming up here uphill, so I'm going to downshift, and as I, as I come, as I let the clutch out, you see the bike gets a little bit of wiggly coming up here, so I had a little tough time with it, but it worked out. And what I do is I... Uh, Gonna follow this road to the end, to the stop sign, I'll make a U-turn and, and head back. So as, as I'm coming along the road, I'm looking for traffic and trying to see if there's, you know, who knows if there's the odd car or walker or animal out on the road. So we're just clicking along here and um, just trying to be safe but have fun. What's that? That is a Amazon truck. How about that? Even people out on the gravel roads are ordering from Amazon and getting their deliveries on a Sunday night. 7.30 or so on a Sunday night. How about that? So make this little U-turn here and um, head back. getting darker by the minute. <laughs> so little XT250 is doing real well on roads like this. I'm having a lot of fun with it and, and, and really enjoying being out on these gravel roads that I'm used to being on my bicycle, but hitting them with the, with the motorcycle. You can see um, <laughs> on the video back at my helmet how dark it is, holy cow. 
little sketchy little turn there and there's another one coming up to the right this one's a downhill blind turn very loose gravel this is where i was a little with a little, little twitchy coming up and then here we are going down so i'm babying it around this turn but then once once i get down in this section there turns it turns out that most of the sections there's quite a bit of um quite a bit of visibility so you know maybe not so much at night so i put the high beam on and there still are some turns but there's a lot of straight sections here and blind hills even on a straight section if it's you know enough enough of a hill there's it gets a little blind there One last right turn. I'll be safe, but then I uh, can open it up a little bit coming up. So I'll, I'll end it here. It's a lot of fun.